India and Pakistan are emerging to become global powerhouses. India is projected to become this by 2030, and Pakistan is projected to be amongst the largest economies by 2050. These two countries are rising due to their massive population and huge land size. There's just one problem between the two – tensions. Their relationships have been sour due to long-standing political, territorial, and military disputes, most notably over the Kashmir region. This relationship between the two had sparked an arms race and, at times, unnecessary conflicts. Today, however, everything has changed. India has become one of the world's largest economies and a military size that equals some of the largest in the world. So the question is, does Pakistan still have enough combat prowess to actually take on India? Or has Pakistan been left behind? Well, to understand that, let us compare each other's military. Let's first talk about the two countries' budgets and military size. Let's first start with India. India's defense budget sits at 74 billion US dollars according to the Global Firepower. This makes them the fourth largest defense spender globally, just behind Russia, China, and the US. They are far, far ahead of Pakistan, which spends only 6.3 billion. In terms of manpower, India is also far ahead. India has a total military personnel estimated to be 5.1 million, 1.4 million of which are active, 1.1 million are reserve, and 2.5 million are paramilitary. Pakistan, on the other hand, only has an estimated 1.7 million total military personnel. These figures already show just how far ahead India is, right? Well, what can be missing about these figures is a country's equipment. If Pakistan has the right equipment, whether it be their navy, fighter jets, battle tanks, or even nuclear weapons, then it can immediately push them above India. Well, let's see and compare each of them. Let's first start with the army, which is a country's ground forces. Pakistan's ground forces aren't that far off from India. Pakistan has over 3,742 tanks, compared to India, though, which has 4,614 tanks. In terms of vehicles deployed by the ground forces, India far surpasses Pakistan. India deploys more than 150,000 vehicles. These can be normal vehicles, but also armored ones. Pakistan only deploys roughly 50,000 vehicles. In terms of artillery, Pakistan has over 752 self-propelled artillery, 3,258 towed artillery, and 602 rocket artillery. India has only 140 self-propelled artillery, 3,243 towed artillery, and 702 rocket artillery. This shows that Pakistan has sufficiently been investing in its artillery systems. But this also does not equate to military strength. What we need to know is how advanced their tanks, artillery, and armored vehicles are. There are two Indian most famous battle tanks that are currently deployed. The first is the Arjun Main Battle Tank, or MBT, and the second is the T-90. The Arjun MBT is a famous indigenous tank, which would have become the face of India's ground forces, but had been struck with several delays, technical issues, and operational demands. The T-90, on the other hand, is a Russian-made tank, and has become an integral part of India's ground forces. There are several T-90 variants that India deploys, which it bought in different years. In 2001, India imported 310 T-90S tanks from Russia. The T-90S Vishma is equipped with a state-of-the-art jamming system, laser warning receivers, and a 125mm 2A46M smoothbore main gun. Pakistan, on the other hand, also has its own formidable battle tanks. They have the Hader MBT, derived from China's VT-4. The VT-4 was developed by Norinco and is a third-generation MBT and an export version of China's Type 99G. The Hader MBT has a conventional design with a 125mm smooth-bore gun capable of firing various types of ammunition, along with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Its advanced armor includes composite, reactive, and spaced systems, with explosive reactive armor on the front hull. Beyond tanks, let's also talk about their artillery. One of India's artillery is the Pinaka MBRL. It is a state-of-the-art multi-barrel rocket launcher developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization. It is an artillery mounted on an 8x8 vehicle. Each launcher can fire 12 rockets in 40 seconds. 
A single battery neutralizes a 700 meter by 500 meter surface area, with rockets reaching up to 40 kilometers and carrying 100 kilogram payloads. Pinaka rockets can be equipped with various warheads, including high explosive, anti tank, and anti personnel types. One of Pakistan's artillery is the Fatah 2, which is a guided rocket system featuring a single stage dual thrust solid rocket motor, advanced navigation, and a programmable trajectory for improved accuracy. It supports both salvo and non salvo firing modes and has a range of 400 kilometers for domestic use. The system can deliver 365 kilograms of warheads. Let's now move on to each other's air forces. According to Global Firepower, India has over 2,296 aircrafts in total, of which 606 are fighters, 130 are attack types, 264 are for transport, 351 are trainers, 74 special missions, 6 tanker fleets, 869 helicopters, and 40 attack helicopters. Pakistan, on the other hand, only has 1,434 aircrafts. 387 of these are fighters, 90 are used for attack types, 60 for transport, 549 are used for trainers, 25 for special missions, 4 for tanker fleet, 352 as helicopters, and 57 for attack helicopters. The most important of a country's air force, however, is their fighter jets. India's fighter jets are composed of equipment from France, such as the Dassault Rafale and Dassault Mirage 2000. They also use some from Russia, such as the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, and several more are out there. The most famous and essential one for the future, however, is the Hal Tejas. These are domestically produced. The Tejas LCA was developed to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters, featuring a tailless delta wing design and a price tag of $25 million per unit. It has a top speed of Mach 1.6 to 1.8. The Tejas also has different variants, the Mark 1A variant and the Mark 2, which will have stronger F-414 engines and greater weapons capacity. Pakistan's Air Force, on the other hand, is composed of Chinese equipment. They have the J-10C Vigorous Dragon, JF-17 Thunder, and even older US aircrafts such as the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The most famous one used and latest is the J-10C Vigorous Dragon. Let's compare this Chinese fighter jet to the Dassault Rafale, which is also currently deployed by the Indian Air Force. The J-10C and Rafale fighter jets are two advanced fourth-generation aircraft, developed by China and France respectively and designed for air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. The Rafale has a range of 3,700 kilometers and endurance of 9 hours with refueling. The J-10C has a shorter range of 2,940 kilometers and an endurance of 3.5 hours. In terms of weapons, the Rafale uses Mika and Meteor missiles, while the J-10C uses the PL-10 and PL-15. In terms of speed, the Rafale has a max speed of 1.8, whereas the J-10 with a top speed of Mach 2.2. Finally, let's move on to the Navy. India's naval forces is also far above Pakistan. India has over 294 total naval assets, two of which are aircraft carriers, 12 destroyers, 12 frigates, 18 corvettes, 18 submarines, and 137 patrol vessels. Pakistan, however, only has 114 naval assets, 8 aircraft carriers, 2 destroyers, 9 frigates, 7 corvettes, 8 submarines, 69 patrol vessels, and 3 mine warfare. This already showcases how far above India is especially as India has its own aircraft carriers. But let's compare their submarines. India's submarines are also amongst the world's deadliest. They have the Aryant class, which is India's first nuclear-powered submarine. It was developed indigenously at a cost of $2.9 billion. It is based on the Russian Akula 1 class design. Aryant weighs 6,000 tons, measures 110 meters in length, and can accommodate a crew of 95. Pakistan's own submarines, however, are much smaller. They have the SSK Augusta 60B class submarine. These are designed by France's DCN, now DCNS, and are used by the French, Spanish, and Pakistan navies. 
This submarine features enhanced automation, a crew size of 36, deep diving capabilities up to 350 meters. The submarine has four 533 millimeter torpedo tubes and can carry up to 16 torpedoes and missiles, including the ECAN F-17 Mod 2 torpedo and MBDA Exocet SM-39 missiles. The Exocet operates in sea skimming mode with a range of 50 kilometers and carries a 165 kilogram warhead. So, as we can see, India is indeed far stronger than Pakistan's military. But Pakistan is keeping up despite being a smaller country and economy. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.